Hey, how's it going guys? Hopefully you guys are having a good day. I know I am and uh, but today um, I'm this video is gonna be kind of short But uh, just kind of informative about a game that I've actually been playing a lot lately and that is rogue company on um, this game I believe released on July 20th. Um, so it's been out for I don't know what today is the 26th I believe so it's been out for six days. Um, it's still a beta so it's definitely not uh, fully complete but for what it is it's definitely a polished game already there are bugs like i said it's, uh, it's still in beta so but and all gameplay wise the look of it and everything like that it definitely looks good there's no game breaking glitches from what i've you know come across but um it's definitely a, a nice looking game uh plays very well and everything like that but today i just want to answer the question of what is road company and why you should get it now i think uh this game the basic package is 15 dollars. there's a 30 dollars version and then there's a 60 dollars version so 15 dollars gives you the base game and a couple of the rogues uh you could also call them operators you know kind of like rainbow six siege valorant they all have their special abilities and certain things they do and give you know intel maybe they kill people or you know get special grenades stuff like that you know it's different little things little abilities that each character has by themselves so it's their special ones but um the $30 $30 version gives you all of the characters and then uh, I, I believe the $60 version gives you all of the characters plus some of the the, the, the uh, coins that you use for microtransactions in the game I guess like for customization and things like that and also it gives you some customization like dance special dances and stuff like that so I bought the $30 version just so I could unlock all the rogues already and won't have to worry about having to buy them individually um like I said this game for what it is definitely uh, is good looking um it plays very well it's a third person tactical shooter basically 4v4 um and it definitely uh it's a little different when it comes to gameplay wise i, I haven't played a game like it before um maybe kind of gears of warish just a little bit a little little bit toned down um now one thing uh that i can say is that for 15 dollars um it is a little bit higher than what i would you know be used to but uh, like i said it, it's, it's kind of worth it if you but i would recommend watching gameplay i do have gameplay on this game already so if you have not seen that check my channel i think i have like two videos up maybe of gameplay so you can definitely check it out and see what it is um but going into it um, I was kind of blindsided by it. I looked up a little bit of gameplay, but definitely didn't look at it. But once I got into it, it definitely looks good. Now, this is out for PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. So, it's out for all platforms. I, I, I would guess the Stadia. I'm not too sure. I don't know anybody that, that has the Stadia. So, I'm not too sure about the Stadia. But, um, like I said, it's on all platforms. Cross-play as well. So, if you have friends, maybe on the PlayStation, maybe on the PC, maybe on the Switch or the Xbox. It doesn't matter. Anybody can play with anybody. And which that, I feel like, is really, really nice. Having cross-play off-gate. like off -gate, Being able to play with everybody. I think that's a really big thing nowadays. And so, in my opinion, that was a big, big plus for this game. Because I can basically play with anybody, any of my friends, uh, any of my family members off-gate. Now, um, getting into the gameplay aspect of it, um, like I said, each rogue has their own uh, ability, special ability, um, and I think there's 13 in total. Now, with these people, they have certain weapons, um, certain gadgets, certain abilities, and then you have uh, these things, uh, I think they're th throwables, I believe, um, I guess that's what I would call them, or uh, melee weapons usually with these uh certain guys i think baseball bat katana and uh combat x are the three ones that you at each play, that uh all of them have specifically i would say defenders have the baseball bat just because you know defend i guess um but yeah these these are um kind of a new addition to it um like as you can see you do 20 damage off gate just punching but 40 damage all together um, and so you can throw these and it's kind of like a one shot type deal if you don't have the extra 25 health with it Which everybody doesn't get and that's um, that's something kind of added into it But like I said, it is a third-person shooter. I'll throw some gameplay up on so you can see um, you can switch shoulders um, Which is a new addition. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been in other games and I can't pinpoint what games it's been in But it that definitely is a new addition to some of the games that nobody's seen before kind of like Fortnite You haven't seen that before um, so switching shoulders is a big one being able to get an advantage of looking around corners and things like that um along with that they throw in the, the, the dodge roll which many games don't have that in there <clears throat> 
and uh it's just you know it's all around kind of a fast paced um shooter it's really really good now at the moment they have two um different modes one being demolition and one being strikeout demolition is more of the you know the um as you can see the competitive mode strikeout is more of the casual mode so kind of like team deathmatch demolition is kind of like you know the search and destroy um and it basically follows that tactic usually demolition you go try and plant a bomb one team attacks one team defends and you know there's a timer everything like that all that good stuff strikeouts more of like i would say a twist on battlefields kind of qu conquest where everybody you have your team has a certain amount of lives but there's a position that you need to take and if you take that position then uh over time lives start depleting without people having to die and so that's um another thing that i've seen uh that, that you know it's a new addition that i haven't seen in a lot of different games um now i've played this on my uh with a keyboard and mouse and i've also played it with controller on controller it's a little bit different than regular games i'm um, usually with it uh there's the melee buttons on the d-pad <clears throat> and that's kind of you know iffy for me i'm not too but there's so many different things that you have to do um uh like actions that it kind of needs to be there unless you want to switch it out with something else but i feel like that's probably the best place they could have put it besides that there's nowhere else you could really put it like i said there's a bunch of different interactions so it's kind of harder for them to map it around a controller but for the most part they've done a good job and so um to get down to the you know the end point of this video is should you get it i would say yes if you are big into shooters call of duty um like i said gears of war i kind of get gears of war vibes with it fortnite i mean anything shooting wise and you want something new this would definitely in my opinion be the game for you um like i said check my uh my channel out and you'll see a couple game a couple videos of gameplay um and you can kind of get a vibe of what it's like but uh you really won't get it unless you play it um and like i said in my eyes this is definitely a good game i'm i'm stuck on it at the moment <laughs> playing it wise it's just really good there are like i said there are glitches it's a beta there are sometimes you run into problems but in the most part i really haven't had any too many big problems in order for me to be like you know i need to hold off and wait or you know maybe i needed to give it some time for it actually gets into the, uh you know in a good state that i can't play it. it's, it's definitely in a good state where you can play it and you know not really run into any any problems um the only thing is it's kind of lackluster and content wise <clears throat> you're still waiting on um more game modes and still you like i said you have 13 rogues but you don't have much customization to go along with it so you know that's another thing but all in all it's definitely a good game um if you don't want to spend a 30 definitely spend the 15 just go ahead and get it like i said you could play it with basically anybody and um my brother has a switch he plays it on the switch and it runs great he said it doesn't look as good obviously but it definitely runs fine so that's a big big plus in my eyes a game like this being able to run on switch no problem um is really a big big a big big plus for it so yeah um that's basically the end of the video man i just want to give you my opinion um and just you know what just telling you what is rogue about rogue company and um yeah so hopefully this video was uh informational let you know you know answered basically all your questions on what it was like and all that i'll leave a description uh i'll leave a video description down below to let you guys to lead you guys to the other videos on my channel to see the gameplay but um, if you just want to go ahead and get it, I definitely recommend you could do that. <laughs> but yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the video and what you guys think of the game. Um, subscribe for more content like this because I definitely will be dropping more content on this game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.